Hello everyone and welcome back to our new quick concept video. But before we start to answer why, we will see how it retracts. As you can see here, aircraft is on jack and there is retraction test going on this aircraft. But to understand retraction, let us know some facts about it. In some older aircraft, landing gear are used to retract and extend manually. Also in smaller aircraft by use of pneumatic pressure. But today almost all large and medium sized aircraft like Boeing 737 and 777 have hydraulic retractable landing gear. There are four main reasons why brilliant aircraft designer has made nose landing gear to retract forward into the fuselage. Number 1. As you all know, nothing is 100% reliable. So to keeping in mind that if hydraulic system fails, so how we will extend it. So it's easier if landing gear is extending in the direction of wind and by gravity and wind pressure we can easily extend nose landing gear but if it's retracted backward then wind force will oppose extension of nose landing gear. Number 2 As mentioned wind will oppose nose landing gear extension at high speed it will limit the landing gear retraction speed and will cause greater aerodynamic resistance and stress on nose landing gear. Number 3. During touchdown, if nose landing gear used to retract backward or rearward, it may collapse the nose gear as it experiences high mechanical load on touchdown. So to avoid this and keeping firm nose landing gear retracts forward. After touchdown, the force will cause nose landing gear down lock intact and prevent the disaster. Number 4. Retracting nose landing gear forward helps us economically as it does not interfere with forward cargo space and nose landing gear retract in empty nose wheel well area. I hope you got your answer but this is not true for all and there are some exceptions like Russian Marvel Tuplo TU-145 has its all nose landing gear and main landing gear retracts rearward. Also, there are few military aircrafts nose landing gear used to retract backward but with a locking knee for added structural support. So it's really difficult to say what is best but as many medium and large aircrafts have provision of retracting nose landing gear forward, I think it's best choice. Let us know what's your opinion and views on this. Also recommend us what you want to see in our next video. Till then stay safe and keep learning, keep watching, subscribe and share it with your colleagues. See you in next video.